The announcement from the Big Ten coming after a similar one was made by the MAC conference just a few days ago. Lauren Edwards joining us now after speaking with the athletics department at WMU about the impact of missing out on those fall games. Lauren. Yeah, Derek and Janice, I got a chance to speak with one of the ADs at Western Michigan University, and he was just saying it's hard times around here. It's, it was tough news to digest that there won't be any football at Waldo this fall. They were hoping to fill the stadium, but those locks on the gates, they're going to be there for some time. It's going to be uh, uh, an emptiness, I guess you could say, for all of us who are involved in this every day. That's what we get up and do. Especially at Western Michigan University, Broncos players and personnel still reeling from the news that their football season will not go on as planned. We live for sports at Western Michigan in our athletic department. That's what we do. We love going to the games. We love putting on the events. A few days ago, the MAC presidents voted unanimously to postpone the season to the spring of 2021. Western Associate AD Robin Hook says it was a hard decision. In the end, they made the right decision because uh, the well-being of our student athletes is first and foremost. That's one of the founding uh, principles of the Mid-American Conference. And he says Western will suffer financially, especially after losing the Notre Dame game in which they were guaranteed over $1 million. Their one non-conference game was scheduled to be against Western Michigan. That's not going to happen now. And so that's a big financial hit to our program. But silver lining, Hook says all of their teams will remain intact despite the financial blow. We fund 16 sports for men and women, and we don't see changing that at all at this point. As devastated as they all are at Western, he says he wants fans to know that they're hoping to return to the field as soon as they're allowed to. I just want to tell our Bronco fans out there that we love you and we're going to be back playing games and we want you to continue to support us. And he said he was so grateful for the fans and the alumni just being patient through all of this as they're trying to be patient as well. And he was saying that if they can flatten the curve or or some way or uh, eradicate or just deal with the virus better, then Waldo will be filled in the spring. Reporting live here in Kalamazoo, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. All right, Lauren. Meanwhile,